Now to a consumer alert. We're less than a month away from the 2020 census. It's conducted every 10 years, and it determines how many hundreds of billions of dollars in federal funding flows into communities for the next decade. That's why it's important that every single person in the country participates. But Florida's top prosecutor is warning scammers could be using the census as bait. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Bruno explains the four red flags that you might be seeing a census scam. If the census being every 10 years, it can be easy to forget exactly what it is. Have you ever heard of it? No. Think of your morning commute. Census results actually help planning for highways and construction and even public transportation. Or think of your local firefighters, schools and medical programs. Census results determine how money is allocated in our neighborhoods and across the nation. The government does this by collecting basic information from every single person in the country. The Census Bureau is only going to contact you in one of two ways. In the mail, U.S. Postal Service or knock on your door. President of the Northeast Florida Better Business Bureau, Tom Stevens says, there has already been a report of a scammer using the census as bait. Actually has scam tracker report recently about uh, getting calls pretending to be offering jobs for the census. They won't do that. And Florida's Attorney General Ashley Moody says that's not the only scam to be wary of. Remember that the Bureau does not send unsolicited emails requesting personal information. The Bureau will also never ask for highly sensitive personal information like your credit card number. So if anyone asks for your bank account information, don't give it to them. If anyone asks for your social security number, don't give it to them. If anyone asks you to pay for training for a census job, census taker job, it's a scam. The only information the census wants to know is who lives in your home. They don't need your money. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.